Well, hello and welcome to a very special episode of Watch What Crappens. Now, guys, you know, there are some perks um, to being podcasters sometimes. Um, not a lot, <laughs> but there are there are some sometimes. You know, this season of Real Housewives of New Jersey, I was extremely disappointed we didn't get a reunion. You know, we have our feelings about that over here, as, as does all of the fandom. But thanks to the nosy ass blogger Melissa's old ass crack, um, we were gifted a pretty special gift. Ben, well, tell so the here, people. So basically, Bravo went out of their way to say that there'll be no reunion, yada yada yada. But then this blogger actually reached out to us and said there was a reunion, and it was so toxic that Bravo actually shelved it. And that was, we're like, okay, well, whatever. But then they actually sent us audio of the reunion. And so we've heard this reunion ourselves. We've listened to it. And, you know, we're here to say this reunion did actually happen. It happened. It's so good. It is toxic, you know, and we know that we risk getting sued by Louie, Jim Bellino. Um, we, we, well, we may get Bravo. on the bad side of Bravo, which could sacrifice our screeners, but we feel like, it's important to bring this reunion audio to all of you guys. So we're just going to blow the lid off of it. And actually because of those bloggers, we didn't get screeners in the first place for real housewives of New Jersey, the soul. Season. Yeah. So who are we staying true to? I don't give a shit. What are you going to do? Take away the screeners you never gave us. So now we are proud to present the leaked reunion footage. It's a little unedited. So forgive us, but um, we didn't do it um, of real housewives of New Jersey. Um, take it away. All right. Well, hello and welcome to the Real Housewives of New Jersey Season 14 Reunion. I'm Andy Cohen and I am a father. <laughs> hey, so it was a fraught and chaotic season, but we are here to see if there's a path forward for all these women. Okay, let's say hello to everyone. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Andy. I'm really glad to be here. My neck is hurting a little bit because my hair is very heavy. It's all very natural, but you know what? It's worth it. That's great to hear. Danielle, looking good, looking like you've just freshly banished someone from your life. How's it going? Good, and I'll tell you this much. You know who I'm not going to mention today? My fucking father. Fuck that fucking guy. All right, but I'm glad to be here looking good. If you're wondering who designed this, it's me. It's me, Andy. Now, I just want you to know your dad went out of his way to try to reach out to you. He actually texted me, uh, but unfortunately, it was just a strange gif of someone putting their fist in their mouth and crying. <laughs> <laughs> it came with audio. <laughs> You know what, Andy? He's going to have to earn his way back in my good graces, that old fuck, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, let's get moving on. Who haven't we said hi to yet? Let's just say hi. Jen, Jen Aiden. Hello, Jen Aiden. Hi. Hi, hey, baby. How's it going? It's so great to be back here at the Bravo Clubhouse Playhouse Theater of Broadway, baby. All right, really don't like you very much, so I'm not going to give you much of a chance to talk. You know what? We forgot to say who was at the start of that couch, and it was, uh, that was March. That was March. Nope, sorry. That was Teresa. We're on Teresa's side of the couch right now. Hello, Teresa. How you doing? Hi, Andy. It's like, it's like, it's like good to be here, but you know, it's like, it's hot, but like, you know, it's like good, like, love, love, love. <laughs> Now, Teresa, you are looking beautiful, and by beautiful, I mean extremely confusing, kind of tragic. Um, you were accused of having hot dog lips this season. Uh, what what say you? Are those new lips, or are those just your natural lips? That that's just like that's just like a mean thing that she would say. Like it's like I would never do that. I would never say something like that. I've got four daughters, and like I wouldn't ever say that. Like I don't even know what a hot dog even is. That's just like it's like rude, and like I don't know. Like that's just what they are. That's what they are. They're just like mean people. There's like evil peoples over there on that side of the couch. Blink, 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 blink. Whoa, Teresa, every time you blink, some relish and mustard comes out of your eyeballs. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to tell you this month. I got daughters, and they say it's delicious, so. <laughs> um, all right, uh, Melissa, Gorga, you're over there on the sofa. What are you up to? How's, you, how's everything going at Envy? 
Oh, Andy, I'm so proud to still have Envy. It's such a big store. You know, I'm a working mother, and, you know, I'm just so proud that my daughter, Antonia, who now knows that I'm a whore, you know, because of someone here, that at least she knows that I'm a whore with the store, Andy. Two two locations as big as sun, Sunglass Hut kiosks in a mall food court, Andy, and I'm very proud. By the way, Antonia went to college. Still very upset about it, Andy. Oh, sorry. I just woke up from a from a sitting dream. I just is. I think I lost the last five minutes of my life. I was I was dreaming. I was literally anywhere but here. <laughs> okay. So uh, and then hi, Dolores. Uh, hello, Andy. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How's everything over there? Um, have you uh, gotten? A blow job? Have you have you given a blow job to Polly? Sorry, I haven't given a body question yet. It's weird for me. Oh, except for that hot dog lips one. But I will say, Dolores, are those new boobs, Dolores? Tell me about your boobs. I love your boobs, Dolores. They are new. Uh, they're made of a hundred percent focaccia. Uh, they're repurposed <laughs> crocodile <laughs> crocodile focaccia. <laughs> Thank you. So stupid. <laughs> okay, uh, Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Andy. How are you doing? What, what's, what's new with you, doll? Do you know what? Can, let me tell you something. My poor dead dog, Bella, just died. I'm very b- bereft So about sorry it. about Bella. You know, we, we you. did have a clip package of Bella put together. I just wanted to say I'm so sorry about Bella, and I just wish that Bella was here because I had one question after watching her segment. Bella. Did Bella get new boobs before she passed? Because, wow, Bella's rack looked amazing in that last shot, Margaret. The funny story, Andy, she actually did get new boobs. It was actually wow. wonderful. Yeah, she, wow. went to the, she went to the same plastic surgeon as Danielle Staub. <laughs> they specialize in canine plastic surgery, so we understand why she was there. Am I right? I mean, that was for you, Margaret. I mean, that was for you, Joan, but for me, too. Let's be honest, for me, too. Uh, listen, uh, Jackie, you are not a regular cast member this season, so I do not have a question for you or a hello planned, but you are standing behind the lizard focaccia on the set decoration <laughs> of Rails, and uh, we're going to need you to go backstage now, Jackie. Um, no, I was just, I, I, I'm not here. I think you're looking at an illusion. Maybe you should get your eyes. I'm, I'm definitely not here. I mean, I'm not here. I to, Do you know how much it hurts my important. feelings that I wasn't invited to be here? I mean, I just assumed I would be invited. Mm-hmm. I'm the only person in the cast not really invited to be. You're not in the cast, Jackie, actually. Well, mm-hmm. that's, um, some, that's sure some way to talk to a cast member. I'll tell you that. Hey, does anyone hear that noise? Oh my god, I'm back. I'm sorry everyone, I'm late. I got stuck on a truck behind a truck on the George Washington <laughs> Bridge. It wasn't my fault. Please stop being mad at me. <laughs> Rachel, oh, Jen- Rachel Fessler, you're not part of this cast either. Please take Jackie. Also, take go ahead and take the Focaccia Lizard with you backstage. We really do. It's really distracting. No one on this stage even eats carbs at the moment, and it's just distracting everybody. Oh, so this is how you repay me. I drive all the way across the bridge behind a truck, and you send me off to backstage to the green room with this one. Fine, I see how it goes. I see. You know, next time, maybe just say hello. Sorry about your troubles. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> all right. Well, she was accused of being a stripper, but hey, at least the worst thing she could accuse her husband of is being a good tipper. It's Melissa Gorga. Melissa Gorga, you had quite Hi, a season this year. Let's watch. Thank you so much. Anto- oh, yeah, let's look at my season. Antonia, I'm going to miss you. Have fun going to Delaware to college. It's going to be so hard without you here working at Envy. Now open seven days a week in Franklin Lakes. Look at me. I'm having a limoncello party because I love Italy. Limoncello. I love lemons. Everybody should dress like a lemon because limoncello is from Italy and I'm Italian and I love lemons. By the way, you guys, Antonia's going to college. I'm worried about my mom. She got drunk. Wow, what a season for you. So, Melissa, how's Antonia? She's going to college. I don't know if you heard. Sure did. Great. Andy, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Sorry I interrupted you, Andy. What were you going to say? Can't believe that we were... (laughs) Okay, I I should have interrupted you. I think I (laughs) short-circuited myself. I interrupted you, and then I just fucked your entire world up, Andy. My my brain went off to college with your daughter. (laughs) Andy, I just wanted to say, it's been a really rough couple of years for my mom. You know, she's, you know, lost people and lost keys and 
lost a couch cushion. Actually, I don't, I don't know how a person does that, but she did it. I was just wondering if we could show a clip of her. She'd really, it would mean a lot to her. Sure, let's do it. Roll the clip. We've got her, Donna. It's me, Donna. I'm ready to date. I'm single and ready to mingle. Can't wait to meet some cute guys, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Unseen footage of Donna falling down another staircase. That's unfortunate, <laughs> but good thing she had that couch pillow to break her fall. Okay, let's move on to someone who did something marginally more exciting than Melissa, which is not hard. Rachel Fuda. Okay, Rachel, how was this season for you, watching it back? Don't want to get a clip package, Andy? I'd really like to see a clip package. All right, oh. roll the clip. Roll the clip of Rachel Fuda. Go ahead, let's watch it. John, my daughter, Ter- Teresa said that you are uh, you were a drug dealer in Bergen County. We nah, to- nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna talk to her. I'm not gonna talk to her trash like that. I'm not gonna talk to anyone like that. I'm not gonna talk to Teresa. Okay, I set up the lunch you asked me to set up with Teresa. Right. Let's let's go. Teresa, let me ask you one question. <laughs> why why did you bring up why did you bring Apples. up my past Teresa? I got a daughter who has a tongue tie. Why'd you bring it up when she's got a tongue tie? How about that? Why? You know why? I don't know, but I didn't even know that tongues raced. You know what? This conversation's not going anywhere. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. You're the biggest fraud to ever hit the housing market in Bergen County, New Jersey in 2023. That's what I got to say to you. I'm oh, at yeah. It. <laughs> you was fat that one time. You was fat that one time, remember? Yeah. It was foul one time. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm so sorry, but my husband possibly is choking on a tiny bone fragment from a bone marrow shot we did in the car. No, I'm a diet. Diet don't get allergic to none. Uh-uh. Let's just go to the car. I'm also, fine. my daughter fine. was tongue tied. Wow. No, diet don't get tongue tied. Diet don't get tongue tied. Uh-uh. <laughs> what a great I'm fine, season. Everyone. That was that was really fantastic. So Rachel, um, you know Rachel. So she's got hair that weighs more than a puma, and she's kind of an idiot, but had a great fight with a man named Fuda. It's Rachel versus Teresa. Guys, why do you think you just couldn't see eye to eye this season, Teresa? Um. Well, first of all, when I brought up that John was a drug dealer, first of all, I said was, like he was a drug de- dealer, blink, 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 and like, he's like not one now, he like does tiles, he's like a tile dealer, so it's like, I'm basically like praising him, and so like, he should like, like be proud, because I was like being nice, and I was like showing like, you know, you go, you come from here, and you go to there, and it's like, I don't know why they're mad at me. You said my husband was a drug. What you said about my husband, I have a husband that's a person with a penis that I married, and you talked about them. There is no lower low than you load when you talk about my husband. Fit. John, are you talking about John Fugazi? Is that what you're talking about? Because, like, you said it first about Louis. You said it about Louis. And, like, I've got daughters. I've got daughters. Your husband hired Bo Deedle to come after us and find information. You might remember that we had a manila envelope that one time. Uh, well, hold on one second. We do have a viewer question. Um, Astro from Glide says, Teresa, didn't you think it was inappropriate for you to bring up John Fuda rumors about a dildo? And furthermore, don't you agree, Italians... Don't have allergies. Wait a second. Who wrote this question in? You know what, Andy? Like, here's the thing. Like, I'm from Patterson. Bing, 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 bing. Right, Dolores? Hey, Andy. Take it from Teresa. We're from Patterson. Yeah. And let me tell you, I heard that the biggest pink in this, one of the pink and one of the stink in Bergen County was John Fugazi Fuda. So, what? I swear on my daughters. I swear on my daughters. I'm sorry I have daughters. That she would even bring up a dildo? right now when my husband is suffering from an anaphylactic shock to this day is so obscene andy i don't even understand how you employ this woman on your television show which i would like to be part of going forward in the future thank you very much yeah but see even she said her husband is suffered from anaphylactic that's what she said he had an anaphylactic 
shot. How you gonna have a dick shot if you don't have a dick in you? How you gonna get a dick shot? You stupid. It's true. Bitch. It's true, Randy. Anaphylactic. Right? You can't spell without spelling anal yeah. and phylactic and get uh, it too. Okay, baby. Right? Don't trauma. Don't yeah. stop trauma. <laughs> right? Yeah. I got your battery. Yeah. All right. Well, um, this lady won't speak to her father. Um, what rhymes with father? Lather, ba oh, this lady won't speak to her father and her brother. Oh, why would she even bother? It's Danielle. Let's check out the Danielle segment. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm a family member who I can't even talk to. God, I wish I, you know, it's a shame. My father, the other day, he said he was more into into Skittles than M&M's. And I was like, I just don't know who you are anymore. I can't talk to you anymore, Dad. They talk to my dad, say I like M&M's more. Oh, God. I'd like to invite everybody to my slip and slide party because I'm celebrating the fact that just the other day, I couldn't afford more than a slip, but now I'm fashion designer in New York Fashion Week, because you believe it, motherfuckers. Here I am. It's me. I saw New York Fashion Week. Oh, my God. My kids are going to be in a kid's pop video. They're basically taking the song, I like big butts and I cannot lie, but changing the word to popsicles. It's adorable. Thank you for coming to my kid's pop party. Thank you also for coming to my bougie kid's party. Now I'd like to invent, invite you to my next party. Bougie bopping kid bops. A rainbow bops of kids. This is gonna be great, guys. I'm not. I'm not gonna invite the people I don't like, though. Hey, everyone! I want you guys all to come around. Valentina is gonna be doing the debut of her new music video for Kids Pop called "Wet Ass Pupa," which is, <laughs> as we all know, what a butterfly leaves on a on a on a plant. Little baby, little baby caterpillar. Oh yeah, you want a piece of me? Boom. <laughs> Glass upside of the head. Oh, yeah, you want a piece of me? Glass wasted on the floor. Wow, Danielle, that was a pretty violent segment there towards the end. We started with kids' clothes and ended up with bloody heads. So that was that was pretty good. So, Danielle, fool from Pa wants to know if you're if you have a second family member that you're not speaking to, do you think that you you might be the problem? It's you? Well, Fu from Pennsylvania, I don't appreciate that question. I don't think it's me. I'm setting healthy boundaries. And in fact, this just in, I'm no longer speaking to my children. They they didn't do their chores. And I don't, I don't think I could talk to them. Nate's going to have to talk to them for me. Hmm. They are no longer bougie. And I said, get the fuck out of my house, you stupid little motherfucker. And then I smashed the glass upside his head. <laughs> All right, it seems like you've got some very healthy coping mechanisms. Let's talk to Jennifer Aiden. Jennifer Aiden? Okay, wait, wait. Well, first, um, let's see. What did Jennifer Aiden do this season? Jennifer Aiden? Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Hold on, everyone. Okay. She had a dog, but she had a dog party for Biscuit. But then when she saw Danielle, she said, I wanna hit it. It's it's now Jennifer Aiden. <laughs> Thank you for bringing up my party for Biscuit, Andy. You know, it's a big deal because Biscuit's a very big part of our life. Both Biscuit the dog, but also Biscuits in general, Andy. I'm a rich person. You know what I can afford? Millions of Biscuits. Millions! Unless they're $2 each. Then I can afford tens of millions of Biscuits, Andy. I'm rich. I'm rich in Biscuits, Andy. Let me tell you something. Your Biscuits are like the rock band, especially when it comes to your husband, Bill. Limp. Limp, limp biscuit. Did you see what I did there? I don't know. Maybe was it a bridge too far? I'm sorry. Everyone looks, everyone's staring at me. They don't get the joke. Oh, God, it's getting awkward in here. Uh, let's watch a Jen clip. We're not going to do a whole montage because I hate Jen, but we're just going to show a little clip of Jen and let's show it. You know what? I liked Danielle one time, but I'm starting to realize she steps on smaller people to get ahead, which is how everyone gets ahead. You find a hairstylist, you put them on the ground, you step on their head, and you step to a higher st hairstylist, and then a higher one. Before you know it, you've got a ladder of awkwardness that you just climb up until you're at the top of bougie kids. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of watching a step on hairstylist to get to the middle, Andy. Andy, this is a tough season for me. It's very hard. 
I saw this poor, sweet ass Alice in the middle of the street. She was just begging for some money. So I reached out and I helped her because that's what I do. I help hairdressers in need. And I said, tell me about yourself. How did you get to this place? How did life treat you so poorly that you wound up begging on the side of the street in Paramus? And she looked at me and she said, I used to have a flourishing salon. Everyone would come in, get the hair done, get a perm, get some highlights, some low lights, some mid lights, all the lights. And then one day she opened up a salon. For an, for an afternoon when it wasn't supposed to be open and she let Danielle come in and she did some pro bono hair work for Danielle and she thought it would help her. She thought it would get her along somewhere in life, but it didn't, end. it didn't. It's time for a commercial. It's time for a Crappens commercial. Well, I was a little confused about some of the details of this fight. I was a little confused. Maybe you guys could clarify. Danielle, what do you think that this fight was about? Wendy, this woman was my hairdresser. Then she tried to come to buy Housewives for Cancer event, which was a very big event, you know. Some people thought it was, you know, pro-cancer. You know, of course it's not pro-cancer. Well, what do you think? I'm a fucking idiot? It was Housewives who like cancers, you know, like the astrological sign, you know, because that's what we I love a cancer, Andy, all right? Oh, that's great. I love a cancer, too. Yeah. So then Jen comes, and she starts accusing me of stealing money from the charity and not being nice to the hair lady who was trying to get into the VIP. You don't get to come into the cancer VIP, all right? Well, Andy, well, of course I was upset. Fish doesn't even put aid in plastic surgery on the step and repeat. And then I see this poor hairdresser in the non-VIP area. She was dressed in rags, dirt on her face. And she said, please, can I just come into the VIP area? And I was like, how could we leave her there? On the other side of the velvet rope. She doesn't belong there. She's someone who opened up her salon for an afternoon one time. Get her in here. Bring her in. I said, we bring everyone in here. Give me your tie of your poor, your hairdressers. And Danielle said, no, no, we can't do that. And Andy, I just don't do that. That's just not the way I live my life. Let me tell you something. When I went to China to buy all those dining room tables, I said, feed every single one of these people because I'm a good person. You know, Andy, she may not have had a ticket, and she may not have had money to donate, but she did have access to Laura, who we wanted to bring on screen, to accuse Marge of a lot of stuff at a cancer party. I just don't see why she couldn't allow that, Andy. <laughs> oh, so the reason that you were upset about this charity thing was really because you were mad that Danielle ruined your Laura stunt, right? Yeah, Andy. You know how hard it is? You know how much money I paid for that Uber from... Where's she from again? Laura from... Tenafly? Is she from Tenafly? <laughs> Short court reporters for Tenafly. It's a very expensive Uber. I'll Andy. tell you where she's from. She's from the Staten Island dump. There, I said it. Sorry, <laughs> Laura, but it's true. <laughs> very short dump. Tiniest dump there is. It wasn't even a full <laughs> garbage can that they dump in there. It's a tiny little bathroom, guest bathroom garbage cans that they dump in there. Stupid, short, <laughs> pint-sized court reporter. Well, she wouldn't let Laura come into the VIP section with, with the, the hairstylist person. And that's where I did some digging and I realized that dead y'all took all the money from not just this charity, but every single charity event that happened in 2024 all across America. She's a criminal, baby. I didn't take for no charity. All I did was what's normal for a charity. You take money from rich people, you put some of it in your pocket, you give it the rest of the poor people. What the fuck is the what was the fuck am I supposed to do, huh? <laughs> Don't believe a word she says, Andy. She's a dangerous woman. She you know what she did? She broke a glass, a glass made of plastic, right against my neck. She's evil, evil and evil. Yeah, well, that was the next question. Okay, Crystal from Geyser says, I get that you guys were fighting, but do you think that violence is ever the answer? Andy, here's what I think the answer is. Violence! Hit the bitch in the head! That's what Wait a minute, haven't you learned anything from this season? I'm going to need you to kind of apologize or do something so we can prove to America that we can move forward from violence. I didn't move forward from violence. I broke the glass on that, or the plastic on that bitch's head, and then I moved forward out the door until I came back to try and break her pitcher on her head. Listen, they say people don't grow. I grew from a plastic cup to a pitcher. How much bigger do you want me, motherfuckers? 
And this is who I'm dealing with. Okay, look at me. Sweet, innocent Jennifer Aiden. I know I barely even touched her. Yes, yeah, did I push her? Sure, sure, I pushed her. But it was just like a, a fingernail. It was like nothing. It was like a brush. It was like a craze, okay? We've all been at a buffet. We've grazed people with our elbows as we reach for our cannolis and a focaccia. It happens, Andy, okay? It was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt no one, Andy. Please don't arrest me, officer. I didn't mean nothing by it. I mean nothing. No, from Whip wants to know, do either one of you regret one single thing? No. Uh, my only regret is that when I told her that she looked like a piece of shit in that church, I wish I had said you looked like a piece of shit and you smelled like one too. My only regret. My only regret. Listen, Abby, I got 10 regrets about that night. All right? I got a regret for each finger that I didn't break on that bitch. <laughs> but I'm going to say this right now, Andy, on camera, with God as my witness, I will never, ever let someone get me to that place again. Your husband has my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, going forward. And the new new starts now. Won't let anyone ever get me to that place ever again. Hey, maybe next time you can save money on the charity catering and just have your husband feed everybody from his tits. <laughs> All right, now we are out of glass, and Danielle is just throwing garden hoses. <laughs> Why do we have garden hoses on the set? Sorry, Andy, it was Teresa's Tulum Party set. <laughs> okay, there's a lot to unpack there, but let's move forward. Okay, so now let's talk to Margaret. So, Margaret. Let's see let's what's watch happened with you this season. Let's, yeah, let's see what happened with Margaret this season. She uh, does everything for Joan, and poor Bella will never ask for another bone. Sorry for a Bella joke. That was extremely tasteless. Hold on one second, Andy. Hold on. I'm going to go over to the other sofa, because I know it was probably very difficult for Margaret to hear about her dog. Margaret, I'm sitting next to you now. How do you feel? Okay, I would just good. like to say that even making a Bella joke that is so tasteless and whoever wrote that joke doing the cue cards should know what it's like to lose a dog and should never ever make a joke about it. How dare you? How dare you? I'd just like to uh, read a note from the card reader. I'm extremely sorry. Sometimes stuff comes out of my mouth. I'm trying to be funny even when I know deep down I'm just a horrible human being and deserve everything I get in life. Okay, back to the show. Good. Good for you. All right, get to my clip. I want to look good in every single one of these clips. Let's see them. All right, let's watch the back. Take a look, everyone. Joe, Joe, did you go see your doctor yet? What's going on with your PSA? Joe, oh, God, did you guys hear? Joe has to, his PSA levels are very high. I don't know what to do about his PSA. Oh, Joe has to get an MRI. Uh, yeah, and guess what? The MRI said, we don't know. The actual MRI said, we don't know. Guess what? PSA results came in, more PSA, more MRIs. We still don't know. Guess what, everyone? New PSA levels. The doctor called. He has a definitive answer. Here's what's going on with Joe's prostate. And we're back. Wow. Do we get an answer to that? Oh, uh, yeah, we did. You know what? People have been asking me all season long, Margaret, could you please be clearer? We don't understand what a PSA is. So <laughs> I would just like to say this. PSA is a public service announcement. And here it is. Jackie Goldschneider is a Judas traitor bitch face. Okay, and I hate it. And the reason she's mad at me is because I'm on Ozempic and she's jealous. There, I said it. <laughs> I said it. There, I said it. Mystery solved. Mystery solved. Give me a give me a bed nap, a broom stick, and call me Angela Lansbury because I just solved a murder, Andy. That was for you, Joan. That was an Angela Lansbury joke for you, Joan. The way that Jackie Judas Goldschneider treated me this entire season, she should she should be ashamed of herself. She should be looking at herself and say, I'm so sorry. But you know what, though? She could pronounce it a little different, and she could say, I'm so soiree, which is actually a wonderful alcoholic, maybe or maybe not alcoholic. It's a fizzy drink. Everyone would enjoy it, okay? Serena from Tenafly says she drinks it every single morning. Jody number one and Jody number two, they drink it in the afternoon and the evening, respectively. The point is, soiree, even though that means a party at night, you can drink it any time of the day. Okay, soiree. Hashtag soiree. All right, we are going to bring... I'm gonna, I was going to say we are going to bring out Jackie, but we don't even have to bring her out because she is hiding behind the giant Buddha head piece of the Tulum set. Jackie, just come out here and sit down for a second. We didn't have a chair for you, so you're going to have to sit crisscross applesauce on the ground. Oh, well, um, I just, um, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> the only person without an invitation here. Not that I'm hurt. Not that I care. Not that I mind, Andy. Jackie, we heard that you recently purchased a new Ford Fiesta. No, no, I did not. I did, I did not. 
but it's we see a picture of it. No, that's just we, we didn't. Jackie, you might as well tell people because this is going to come out and people will see it. It's true. I bought a Ford Fiesta. I got a Ford. It is true. I got a Ford. But they have the party in the name, you know. For those of you who aren't bilingual, Fiesta is in the name. And there were so many Fiestas I wasn't invited to this year. I just wanted to ride around in one. Does that make any sense to people? Can you see that? Can you see that? I was very inspired by Teresa's Tulum party. It was such a good party. So I just like one of my, considering that one of my very best friends had a party, basically a Fiesta herself. I was like, let me repay the favor and let me get a Ford Fiesta as well. Well, Jackie, the season didn't start out great for you when it looked like you were demoted and started trying to befriend uh, Teresa and Jen and turn against Marge for ratings and a possible shot at a full-time role again. Um, But then things got even worse when you crossed Dolores. Wait, I'm sorry. Did something say somebody say something to me? I've been Googling um, ways to save the electricity industry from solar. (laughs) Sorry, we just take off these. (laughs) Let's take off these readers. What were we Del- talking about? Dolores, we were just about to talk about how Jackie called you a slob. What's that fucking bitch? If that fucking cup fitness ever comes close to my face again, I'll tell show her who's the real slob here. It'll be her with all the blood coming from her nose onto her stupid cheap dress that she's wearing. Talk about a slob. Dolores, I'm so sorry. You know I wouldn't call you a slob. Look, look here's the- you did, though. You did. Well, Dog listen, with a bone. Know- dog with a bone here's what happened andy you know everybody was hanging out and having a good time and then i got demoted and then before you know it nobody was inviting me to think that tagging me and things i mean it was just ridiculous we actually took a group photo um in front of the dancing water fountain at the grove in los angeles we were we were all visiting well they were visiting i was visiting behind i was on a southwest flight behind them not because i couldn't afford another plane but i just southwest got there earlier i didn't want it was the water dance in front of the anyway the point is i was there as well but then when they uh, posted the picture. They were standing in front of the fountain, and I was standing behind a column at Ben Barnes and Noble's. And they were acting like I wasn't even there. You weren't even there. How am I supposed to know that was you behind a column at the Barnes and Noble? You were hiding. Okay. You stalker. You were stalking us. Well, to be fair, okay. So they all went to the Grove, and I actually wound up going to a different mall called the Rove. It was actually created by Carl Rove. And uh, it's not as nice of a mall, but it does have some shops. There was a Spencer's. So I, what I did was I just sort of stitched that photo with the Grove picture. So it's basically the same thing. I mean, they're all my best friends. So, you know, if they forgot to invite me to the Grove, that's okay. Because, like, that's just what best friends do. Like, part of being best friends with someone is not being invited to every single thing. All right. Well, that didn't make any goddamn sense. But the point <laughs> is, you know, Carl Rove has a mall? Oh, man. I want to yeah, go. It was- it was a very unique experience, and that's actually where I first learned about my Ford Fiesta. There were many of them in the parking lot, and I thought, I would like one of these. It's closed for pasty white guys. The cast of Salt Lake City husbands could use an upgrade, so drop us that pin, would you, Jax? <laughs> All right. Hey, we have a letter here. It comes, Slob from Kebab says, you better back it up. Why are you treating my girl Dolores like this? Also, Jackie... Since when did you ever become best friends with Teresa and Jennifer? Do you not remember how Teresa went to every single person at your husband's party and talked about how he was having an affair at the gym bathroom? Yeah, well, you know, like, people say things a lot. Like, I said an analogy once, and that was very confusing. But, like, when you're not on, your, on the show, and it's been, like, two seasons that you're friends friend of, and you realize, like, wait a second, if I want to be on the show, maybe I'm on the wrong side. Sometimes you just let bygones be bygones, and you say, yeah, Teresa is a, is, a, is a fucking idiot, and she's an awful, depraved person, but she's also my meal ticket. So, you know, best friends. Then, you know, I came to LV, the producer, and I said, hey, LV, I let bygones be bygones. And LV said, well, bye, gone. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what that meant, but I'm pretty sure that LV the slob. So. <laughs> well. If there was any sort of cataclysmic shift this season, it was between Margaret and Jackie. These these two were friends, thick as thieves, but now they are never going to spend a Christmas Eve together. Sorry, shouldn't have had another word after the rhyme, but it happens. Ha, let's take a look. Yeah, how dare you, Jackie Judas Goldschneider? Oh, you think you got one on me? You think you're going to talk to Teresa at this party? Well, what if I said a screenshot of you calling Dolores a slob? Bloop, Dolores, all because check I the didn't... screen. Joe, go go. let oh, Dolores Margaret. know that she needs to check a screenshot. Margaret. Let her know. 
Joe, don't do that. You know, Joe, I love you. How are you doing, Joe? I love the seafoam shirt on you. Do you have a PSA issue? I sort of sense it from your like love from your from your body language. Oh, you know what? Don't even talk get to him. Get your okay? mitts off of my husband. You get your goddamn mitts off of my husband, Angelina Jolie. What am I, Jennifer Aniston, just sitting at home? You think I'm gonna take this? Get your hands off my Brad Pitt, bitch. I don't let floozies touch my man unless they send me advanced copies of their books, okay? So get the <laughs> fuck off of Joe. <laughs> Hey, by the way, I ended up getting a copy of your book. Here, I'm going to read my favorite. Um, I'm going to read my favorite section. Is everybody ready? I want to read a section from Jackie's book. It's a very beautiful section. Okay, I think it sums up Jackie pretty well. Okay, thirty pieces of silver. Thirty pieces of silver. Thirty pieces of silver. I betrayed Jesus for thirty pieces of silver. Thirty pieces of silver by Jackie Gold. Oh, Marge, you are so immature. You need to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after everything I did for you, Jackie, you know, when you wanted a car, who was the one who took you to the Ford dealership? It was me. It was me. Okay. And you've said, I finally saved up enough money for us Ford Fiesta. And I said, great, we'll take you to the used car lot down over in Paramus underneath Jennifer's mall house. And what did you say? You said, thank you so much, Margaret. You changed my entire life. And now, now that you finally have a Ford Fiesta, you put in the CD into the player and it's like you listen to a mixed CD of all this hate against me. And you know what? I'm not having it, Jackie Judas shit goes not. I'm not having it whatsoever. You know what, Andy? Okay, here's the thing with Jackie. Okay, everybody was calling me a liar all season when I said that I stand up for Jackie Goldschneider my whole life. So I sent a clip in that my mother took, okay? My mother took this clip. She she had an actual video camera, VHS, filming her give birth to me uh, in the hospital. Okay, just can we just roll the clip? Please, Andy, please. I need vindicate. All right, well, all right. we'll roll the clip. Okay, here's a lady crowning. Okay. A little see, baby head coming out. Oh, yeah, Velopia, a little, uh, a little uh, tiny head with little baby <laughs> pigtails coming out. Oh, <laughs> oh God. There's the crowning, as, as I previously mentioned, and there's, oh, there's Margaret. There's like a little Margaret head, and let's let's listen. Oh, the audio's faint, but I think I can hear it. Wah, 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 wah. God, I hope Jackie Goldschneider is okay. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> About right now. Wah, wah. To never do anything, wah. But stand up for Jackie Gold tonight of my whole life. Wah. Wah, wah. Mommy, I need some milk. Also, could you check on Jackie? She might want some milk also. You have two breasts. You can have two babies on it. Come on, call Jackie and get her over here onto that other boob. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. wah, wah. You oh, mind God, sharing that one. nipple? You mind sharing that nipple? I'd love, a, I'd love a first lunch date, babe. Get the fuck out of here, you creepy little baby. This is for Jackie. That, that nipple's for Jackie Gold Schneider. See the way I stand up for her? See the way I do it. Wah, wah. <laughs> One of the husbands from Real Housewives of Potomac tried to steal that nipple years ago, and I told him, no, sir, you better back off. That's how long I've stuck up for Jackie Gold Schneider. I can't believe you would do this to me, Jackie. Mama, Jackie. Mama, bring me over to Jackie Goldschneider's crib. Jackie, I got urgent news to tell you. Wow, wow, wow. Jackie, baby Jackie, listen to this. I got news. Next time they say peekaboo, I got news for you. There is still a face behind the hands. Yes, I repeat, they do not go away. When those hands close, the face is still behind them. I know, blows your mind. I'm just looking out for you, Jackie, ever since I was a baby. Wow, wow. <laughs> uh, uh, unfortunately, Andy. Jackie has taken peekaboo, and now it's just peek up. Boo, Jackie, boo. You suck, Jackie. Get out of here. I wasted my whole life standing up for you. Get out, Jackie. Go. It's like but actually, I do not have to leave until Andy Cohen himself tells me I have to leave. And Teresa, I just want you to know I never spoke to that ex-wife again after the first time I spoke. To okay, well, there was that time we had lunch in the Ford Fiesta. That was good. But it's just because I wanted to get rid of the new car smell. She really loves Taco Bell. But then after that, I never spoke to her again. Teresa. Okay, I spoke to her. She's on, she's on the phone right now. Hi yeah. there. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but Can I'm okay with this. Teresa, are you really? She's literally talking to Louis' ex right now. Yeah, but like she was mad at me a few years ago. So like she's allowed to talk to Laura. She has like five years to talk to Laura and then it's expired. It's fine. I don't care. <sighs> well, I don't have to leave anyway, Margaret. So you just, I, I do accept my job as a full time housewife again. Andy, thank you so much. Actually, your time is up. Please uh, go before we have to throw the Buddha head on top of you. <laughs> Please get out. <laughs> Commercials. Here comes one right now. All right. Well, some say that the length of his divorce is kind of shitty, but she's okay because she can work in electricity. It's Dolores, the Dolores segment. <laughs> 
Dolores, let's see what you were up to this year. Well, this year I walked from the kitchen to the living room to the dining room to the clock. Just kidding. Back to the kitchen to the living room and the dining room. Here's the difference. This time, the kitchen was on the first floor. The living room was on the second floor. The dining room was on the third floor. A lot more stairs, Andy. That's the difference. Well, Andy, this is what happened in my season. I started working at an electric company. So there was that. Frank Frank lost a dog. Frank also, his, someone bashing his kneecaps again. So that was sad. He was going to get married to that girl. Kim's coming, he keeps bringing around. That didn't happen. And uh, I decided that uh, I wanted to join Costco. Fun fact, I never was a member, but now I am. <laughs> well, Dolores, you've done not much of anything, but shockingly, you are still Crappen's choice to anchor this new reboot. So congratulations on that. Thank you, Andy. Thank I'd you. like to thank all the people I did nothing for. I want to thank the YoPlay organization because without the sustenance of your yogurt, I don't know if I would have gone through this season. Because did you call me back to the stage? No, I didn't call Yo Plane. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny just because in, in in middle school people would call me Yo Play. They that was my that was my nickname. They just called me Yo Play Yogurt, and I would just come on out. So I thought it's really I'd hurtful be. that you would bully me like the kids in school. You know what? I'm starting to see their point, Jackie. I, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I take back every good thing I ever said about Yo Play Yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now, the biggest blinker on television, Teresa, who's about to t- give us a dose of humility and humility, if that's even a word. Teresa, let's watch your segment. Uh-huh. I got a love bubble. Marge is evil. Marge did everything. Oh my God, that was just an earthquake. It was Marge. Marge did it. <laughs> yeah, so I have proof. Okay, so here's the proof. I subpoenaed Marge because she's the root of all evil. And because she was subpoenaed, we have discovered that she is therefore the root of all evil. So I think <laughs> this case is open and closed. <laughs> All right, oh God, now. Look at your entire segment. That was pathetic. The whole thing was your husband being abusive and you being terrible. I mean, th- what was that? Uh-uh, I had a Tulum party. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, too? Before we get into Teresa versus Marge, let's bring out whichever husbands are still willing to show up on the show. So let's say hello to them. Hi, Frank. Hey, th- thanks, Andy. Thanks for having me. I wasn't really on the season, but uh, I appreciate you having me back here. All right, hold on one second. Can we get some squeegees to wipe up all the saliva that is accumulated on this stage now from Frank talking? Hello, Joe Judice. There he is. There he is, Andy. Hey, Andy, I don't know if you remember this part of the season. It was pretty big, but I talked to a gay guy. I was really nice to him. <laughs> it was good. I, I, I gave him his vows with the other guy that he was getting married to because they's gay. It was two guys. Hey, Andy, it was two dudes that was getting married. It was hilarious. You guys got that on film, right? You, not only that, as a special surprise, please welcome a gay cousin from New Jersey. Wait a second. That's just, Jackie, you're just dressed up like Liza Minnelli. We see it's you. I'm sorry, did I, is this too stereotypical? Yes, queen, rat summer. <laughs> um, Andy, this I just my- wanted to come out and tell you, mother, you are mother. No, nope, still not, still not this back is- on the show, Jackie, please leave. Everything, everything. Um, Andy, you might want to look at Joe Gorga. He's got his wiener out in his hand. Hey, what, what am I supposed to do? Eh? I'm around the gay guys. What you going to do? I'm going to piss. I'm going to piss right here. What you think of that? Eh? Not only am I seeing it, I'm recording it. Ha! 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 And finally, one of our fa- all-time favorite husbands, Louie. Louie, welcome. Hey, I just wanted to say, I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to have the opportunity to be married to this icon. God, what a beautiful woman. Teresa, I'd fuck you right now if I could. Teresa, seriously. Like, if it wasn't required that I had clothes on right now, my dick would be inside of you right on this camera. And that's my romance for the moment. As for Margaret, I hope you die in hell, you stupid fucking cut fitness. And also, I hope that Margaret still had viable eggs so that she could get pregnant and I could curse each individual baby that came forth from her womb. But you know what, Andy? I'm really all about positivity, which is why I wore a shirt that says positivity, as in I'm positive that Margaret's son should suffer for the rest of his life. That's what I'm all about. But positivity, Andy. (laughs) 
Well, Louie, um, it seems like uh, your ex-wife was the one uh, dropping stuff all season long after all. What do you have to say about that? Um, you know what? She's a very troubled woman, and uh, I am looking forward to getting further to the bottom of all this. Mm, did somebody say bottom? Sorry to be a late comer, but sometimes I'm just a late comer. Mm. I've been looking to get to the bottom of this for seasons. Golga, we've got about 10 more minutes. Want to meet me in the back? <laughs> oh, Bill, thanks for joining us. It was so nice that you loved that strange little bench from your bedroom up here at the reunion stage. God, you really love that thing. <laughs> yes. I didn't comb my hair either. Now, let me just lean back and ask you one very important question, Mr. Cohen. Mm. Yes. Mm. 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 You happen to have uh, that video recording of Joe Gorga wanking off from just before? Sure do. Mm. Could you be a good sis and drop box a little bit? Or airdrop. Bill, shut up. You know what? You're really making a fool of yourself right now. <laughs> All right. Well, for our last segment, um, she may not be on TV, but she's a really good blogger. And she um, would get squashed by a truck if she were in Frogger. It is Melissa's old butt crack, the blogger, and the actual frog from Flogger. From Frogger. <laughs> it's dead now. So let's just talk oh, about the well. blogger. Our first reunion death. Well, I guess that'll happen if you decide to bring Frogger on. All right. Should have looked so, both ways. You know, these fucking frogs. I'm serious. How many arcades is Frogger going to be in until frogs realize you have to look both ways before you cross the street? I mean, what are you all made out of 100% Joe DNA? That was for you, Joe. That well, this is what you. happens when you try to cross a truck. I'm telling you, I'm traumatized. That truck should be sued. They should be off the road. Okay, Jen Fessler. Thank you for advocating on behalf of. <laughs> Frogger. Oh, and Jackie. Yes, a little bit too late to show up on the stage in a frog outfit. We know it's you. All right. And you are still holding your rainbow banner. So <laughs> just at least try to get your costumes separated out there. Okay. All right. Melissa's new butthole. Oh, can you please explain the blogger drama to us? Because it was so confusing that we didn't include it on the entire season, even though it was basically about Teresa and Jen hiring you and somebody else. To, all right, here's what happened, Andy, all right? I got hired to write positive things about Teresa and Jen Aiden, but then they turned, and so I turned, and now Darth is going to be squashed while I ruin these measures for... Hey, we got your baby, our baby stroller. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, though? That wasn't enough, a baby stroller. I required a, there's payments, monthly payments, and then we'll John, okay? And it wasn't just me. It was other bloggers, too. Oh, well, you know what? I'm glad you mentioned that because also here to chime in on this drama is Kathy Wakili's toaster. Kathy Wakili's toaster, tell us what happened with Teresa and Jennifer Aiden. Well, I'll tell you what happened. They said, look, we'll give you some screeners as long as you bring up the dirt about Margaret and anyone else on this cast. And you know what? They never gave us the screeners. They just gave us an old VHS tape of the North Avenue Irregulars. You know what? Thanks, but no thanks. I already have it on the Laserdisc. Waiting backstage, we've got a special someone ready to come out and testify to uh, being harassed by Teresa for years and years. Is she ready to come out? Oh, fucking Carol! Oh, fucking Carol! All right, seems like Rosie's still a little too angry to come out, so we'll just leave her. Um, I just wanted to read a note that she had sent to me. Andy, I do not endorsify Kamala Harris for nothing. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> well, we try not to get political here, but apparently... All right, well, we do have yet another blogger who can maybe give us some insight on this scandal. Please welcome to the stage... Joji Dice's wank rag. All right, welcome. Uh, tell us about this situation. So what? Who cares? You know what? So what Here's what I found out. You know what? Teresa married this guy. This guy makes her happy. So what? Who cares? You know, so what, that's what cares? I say about it. So that's what? what I gotta say. So what? Yeah, so what? But you, like, tell us about the scandal. She was paying you? Yeah, you know. Mm, what I mean, do? you know, she paid me in you know dildos. What? All right. She paid me in dildos. It was so stressful. I crashed my car on the side of the road and went and had five shots of whiskey. What you gonna do? What you gonna no do? Who fucking cares? All right. Who fucking cares? You know what? The police pulled me over. I used Nini's son's, son's name. 
to get off. Like, like who cares? So what? All right. So nobody really, this, this is very confusing. I can see why we didn't include this in the season. Melissa's old butt crack. Do you have anything more to say? I will say this. This bitch better rule the fucking day. She messed with Melissa's old ass crack. All right. I will now, boy, here for to be changing my name to Margaret's new bustier leakage. All right. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. I don't fucking care. You better back the fuck off, Colin. You're going to pay. I would like to also change my name to Jacqueline Larita's eyelash. Is that okay? Is that name taken? <laughs> All right. Well, um, I don't know that we're going to be able to use any of this reunion. Uh, but, you know, it was super fun doing it. Teresa, Teresa's standing up. Teresa, you want to give me one last hug? Fuck you, Andy. <laughs> oh, well, I got pushed down in my chair one last time. <laughs> blink, blink, blink. Blink, 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 blink. Wait, wait. One last thing before you guys are all fired. Let's hear everyone's thorn and rose for the season. Starting with you, Danielle, what was your rose and what was your thorn? All right. Well, my rose was being in New York Fashion Week for the first time, the biggest designer in New York motherfucking city. That's one bitch. And my thorn, if I had a thorn, I'd put it right through Jennifer Aiden's goddamn temple and shove it in there until it got to a tiny little peanut out of the brain and killed their ass. Stupid bitch. <laughs> All right, uh, Rachel Fuda, your rose and your thorn. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm Rachel Fuda, okay. Well, here's my <laughs> rose, Andy. My rose is that we untied my child's tongue. It was very difficult. It, it was really tight. It was like triple knotted. But you know what? It's out now, and now she's walking around the house saying expedalicatual, superfralicatualistic expedalic, however you spell I can't spell it, but she can say it. I'll tell you that. My thorn, Andy... My thorn was honestly finding out that my coke, my husband was a coke dealer, and he never shared one goddamn thing with me, Andy. Like that's actually very hurtful. All right. You no, know, Andy. There's a reason why I didn't fully erase my nose. I kept a little bit open for a rail. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's check in with Melissa Gorga. Melissa Gorga, rose and thorn for the season. My rose was sending Antonia off to Delaware. Hold on, let me check. Okay, Antonia, have you made it to Delaware yet? Fuck you, Mom, stop calling me. I'm trying to be independent. <laughs> oh, my God, what a rose. And my thorn, I guess my thorn was having to watch my husband have so much pain from his family when my family has been kind of the best family in the history of families. Like, when I look at my family and I look at random gay cousins who suddenly appear, I think, wow. Wow, what joy we bring to each other in a way that's totally different. Andy, did you just fall asleep on me again? Oh, sorry, uh, you were boring me so badly. I thought you had about 10 different accents and a fictional person right now. <laughs> sorry, you're not Dorit. Continue if you <laughs> must. Or actually, let's just move on. Jen, what was your rose and what was your thorn? Jen? I'm just telling my thorn. My thorn. My son was feeling the sting of being such a good loyal friend. A friend who sticks up for everyone. For Teresa. For a random hairdresser. For all the good people in the world. The burden is hard. And I have mental scoliosis from it. But it was worth it. And if that's my burden, then that will be my thorn. And my rose. My rose is not looking cheap like Danielle. Ha! I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not going to wait for you to call my name, okay? Time is money and I'm not making any here. So here's what I'm here's what I'm going to say. My rose is glass tiles. My thorn is pebble tiles. There. Hi, I'd like to I'd like to show up. I, I sorry I missed earlier in the reunion. My rose, my rose is electricity and the joys of having people work in my electric company and my thorn. I think that my thorn is divorce. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, Margaret, what's your rose and thorn? All right, but look, this is very difficult to say, okay? Because obviously I've got so many roses. I've got Joe, what a rose. I mean, and a stinky, annoying rose. A noise that could use a shower, yes. But he's still a rose, and a rose is a rose. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, I would like to thank Jan, who's passed, but I also loved him, loved Bella. God, Bella, you know what? Coffee, iced coffee. The fact that I did nothing wrong this entire season, that was, that was good. Okay, my thorn. My thorn was spending every single day of my life since I was just a spermatozoa in a womb sticking up for Jackie Goldschneider. There. It's Judas. 
and my rose my rose was um uh it was bringing james leonard onto camera so that way people could see what margaret did to me and my family and how we hurt how we hurt gia the most because gia she's like studying to be a lawyer to learn how to like make macaroni and so like she like ruined macaroni for gia and like she hurt my family so much and my torn my torn was like i think it was just like knowing that i had exposed my daughters to such a vicious like drug dealer like john fooder like that was my biggest thorn for sure how dare you call my husband a drug dealer again <laughs> all right well we're <laughs> all it's right okay. someone, get okay. john okay. Fuda. someone get john fooder some water he's choking on his italians don't drink marrow. water italians don't drink water Italians right. water. Well, here's what Italians also don't do. Pay the bills. We've got to get going now. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for a tumultuous season of Real Housewives of New Jersey. Most of these pro people will probably be fired next year until the audience realizes in three years how good they had it in 2024, season 14. We love you guys. We will and see my you rose. later. My rose is... No, Jackie, oh, you're was, still not no, on the show, Jackie. My rose, Jackie, no. get behind the forgotten... I'll tell you what my thorn is. Trucks. Trucks are my thorn. <laughs> All right. We're going to be doing a cheers with bone marrow and lizard focaccias. Everybody. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, no problem. I'm not, not a, a housewife, Fuda. Oh, yeah. Babe. Well, you know what? To black. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow, Ronnie, I can't. That is, I don't know why they didn't air that. I feel like that was actually a pretty, um, pretty good reunion. That was. A well, I'll tell you what. Thing. If that show wasn't canceled before, it sure as shit will be now. Yeah, okay. that was wild. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad we finally got some like pressing answers, and, and we think people were confronted with things. And well, yeah, um, you know, like I'm sorry, like, like I'm hoping that this doesn't lead to any litigation. But uh, we just felt it was important to bring it to all of you people and uh we hope that uh we're journalists was, basically so yeah thank we you, hope that thank was you insightful guys. to everyone yeah thank yeah, you for let us, letting us basically barbara walters you um we hope you have a great one we love you and we will see you next season no matter what it is bye, bye. Watch What Crappens would like to thank its premium sponsors. Ain't no thing like Allison King. Ashley Savoni, she don't take no baloney. Stroll in the park with Caitlin Clark. She's not just a Sheila, she's a Daniela. Itchels. Aaron McNicholas, she don't miss no trickleus. She's never scary, it's the Green Fairy. Jamie, she has no last namey. Hava Nagila Weber. Know your worth with Jason Kurth. Sip some scotch with Jessica Trotch. She's always supplying, it's Kelly Ryan. Kristen the Piston Anderson. Let's give a kiss arino to Lisa Lino. We want to hang with Liz Lang. Megan Berg, you can't have a burger without the Berg. The Bay Area Betches. Betches. And our super premium sponsors. Somebody get us 10 cc's of Betsy MD. We're taking the gold with Brenda Silva. Let's get real with Caitlin O'Neill. Don't get salty with Christine Pepper. Can't have a meal without the Emily Sides. Nobody holds a candle to Jamie Kendall. We got our wish, it's Jen Plish. She's not harsh, she's Jill Hirsch. She's a little bit loony. Junie, my favorite Murdo, Karen McMurdo. We love him madly, it's Kyle Pod Chadley. Let's go on a bender with Lauren Fender, the incredible edible Matthew sisters. Give him hell, Miss Noel. Ring that bell for Rachel. She's the queen bee, it's Sarah Lemke. Shannon, out of a cannon, Anthony. Let's take off with Tamla Plain. She ain't no shrinking Violet Kuchar. We love you guys.